Hey there, welcome back to the studio. So as you can see behind me, I have been working like the, like the mad professor on Valentine's items. So I have so many ideas in my head and I probably won't be able to get them all out. But I do have this new toy I'd like to try out today. And I'm still doing Valentine's things. So if you get a chance, check out. I've done a painting through Annette. I've done a Valentine painting that is stained glass. Now, I ha this is not a video, but I can do a video like that if you have the request. And I've also done a blowout that is, um, let's see, pinks and reds, gold, and um, I think there's a white in there. We're actually gonna do another Valentine video using my toy. And I'm also going to use, I actually, uh, uh, from time to time, you'll see in my videos, I have a hose that I believe is for a fish tank. I'm not sure, but I uh, have created an end on it that's at an angle. It makes it easier for me to blow on my paintings without bending down into the camera. So as you can see, it's well used, but let's try that one today. All right. Thanks for all watching. All right. So for my painting today, I'm going to reuse a canvas. Now this was a beautiful picture. I just am not going to hang that on my wall. And I don't think it will sell in my Etsy shop. So I'm going to go ahead and paint over it today. And I'm going to use my Saks True Flow Premium Acrylic Metallics. I actually have mixed a little bit of, um, I think white metallic in with this one. I don't want red, red, but this was is a dark pink. And then I'm going to use um, Art Mines Brush Metallics. Now you'll find this one in your stenciling section of the store. These I actually buy from a school supplier. They're not, I don't find them on Amazon. And I'm going to try out a different medium today for mixing my paints so i don't know how this one's going to work but i'm going to try this i did get this online at um i think through amazon but it is sergeant is a brand that is a school supplier so i'm very familiar with them and i do like their products so let's try this today all right so i wanted to show you how i'm mixing up my paints so i put a little bit of my acrylic gloss medium in the bottom of a it's just a shot glass and I will take a scoop of my paint. Now you see how thick this thick body this paint is. I love these paints. They're very thick body and I will mix that in even though it's very thick. And then for my colors, I plan to just add medium and no water unless it stays too thick and then I'll just put a few drops of water in there but the texture that I want it to be when I'm finished mixing is I want it to come off my stick a little bit but I do want it to run off and I want it to make a mound that stays there for a little bit I'm going to do something called a puddle pour so I want the the texture of the paint to hold up as I stack my colors now my background is going to be a more runny mixture. So I'm, as you see, it comes off the stick really easy and it leaves just the shadow of a, of a mound and it goes away. And so that way these paints are going to kind of bleed into that background. So we'll see how that works. Let me finish getting everything mixed up. All right, so the first step for this process is I'm going to put on a background to my painting so I'm just actually going to the spread this I'm going around. to do is start some puddle pours now what a puddle for pour is is when you just stack your colors in dots so I'm going to just start some dots and they don't have to be perfect
let's see how this new toy performs. So first I want to put the weight up against my colors. It has a cord, which I wish it was cordless, but it's not. Alright, so I have my weight up against. I'm going to put this weight up against. Okay, here goes nothing. Whoop. Beautiful colors. I'm not sure I can control this as well as I do some other things, so we'll see. It is cute. Don't like it splashing. Alright, so I'm going to actually turn it off and bring out my hose. Try to make this into something I like. So I thought I'd bring you in closer for a little close-up view. Now I want to tell you that even though I mixed the pouring medium thin, it is kind of clumping up where I've tried to remedy it. And I also see some cracking here on the side. So let's see how this pouring medium dries. But right now I'm not quite not like in the background. So let's try that. Let's see what it looks like. Thank you. 